my name is Jess and I work for Moss and I am here with another nature journaling prompt for you. So this one is pretty special because you have to do it with a partner. So this one we call a partner draw. And the idea of it is that you will take your nature journal, which I just found this notebook at the house, the one I'm using, but you can use any paper you have. And you can see that I already have my location and the date and also the weather, cause I like to add that in. And only one of you is going to be drawing and then you can switch. But you have your partner sit back to back with you and they are looking at some sort of landscape. And then their idea is that, or their task is to describe it to you in the best words they have, and then you draw what they are seeing, okay? So today, the only partner I have is Hazel. So she's gonna be my partner. Okay, come here, Hazel. Come here. So I'm sitting back to back with my partner and my partner is now going to describe what they see in front of them and I'm going to try to draw it. All right, Hazel, I'm ready when you are. Okay, so it's a large cliff face that's going to take up most of the page with like a little, little spot for a blue sky at the top. Right. Okay, what next? Okay, at the base, there's a bunch of big rocks. Like they've fallen off the cliff. Are they square or round? They are square. Okay. And big like a car or big like my head? Um, in between a car and your head. Are they all the same size? Mostly, there's one that's really big, but mostly around the same size. Okay. Okay. On top of those rocks is a scattered twigs and driftwood. Okay, what next? back to the cliff. Yeah. The cliff has a bunch of horizontal lines that go through it, like different layers. Okay. Are they all the same size or is one bigger? No, they vary in size. Like three? Mm, maybe five, six. Okay. And at the top of the cliff, there's a, an outcropping that extends off the face of the cliff. Okay. Does it take up the whole page or is it on one side? It's on the left side, top left hand corner. Okay. And then one more thing where the rocks are at the bottom, there's a trickling creek coming out with a bunch of like vegetation in it, plants. Right. Any other details, Hazel? No other details. Okay. All right. Well, I think my partner did a pretty good job describing all of these things to me. So this is what I came up with. And now I'll take a look back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I see the outcropping with the shadow under it. Good job, Hazel, good job. 
<laughs> All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoy this. You'll probably have to find a human partner to do this activity with. Um, but uh, if not, you can also just practice how you would describe tiny objects or big landscapes for, for different people um, and how they might be able to draw it too. So hope you enjoyed it and we will see you outside on video again sometime soon.